Welcome to ITRI's new product, ZogBridge, or XB3 in short. This short video will introduce ITRI's Zog web-based application and demonstrate its purpose. ZogBridge not only replaces the Zog client that was available in Clarity version 13.2 and before, but it features additional functionality that will be demonstrated here shortly. The first thing we need to do is log in or register to set up a new account. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and log in. Okay, now we are directed to the main screen that contains the following. First, the Clarity credentials. So we need to put in the Clarity URL that we will be writing into. Now we put in your username and password and you click validate to make sure the connection is successful. A pop-up will appear indicating success or failure. Okay, now what we do is provide two options to run your XML. The first single request allows you to cut and paste your XML and run the files individually. The same method that was previously available with Clarity's Zog.Client. The second option, bulk request, is the new functionality that was mentioned earlier. We believe that the real value of this tool is the ability to perform bulk requests. Let's say you have 10, 20, or 50 Zog files that you want to upload at the same time. Now you have the ability to zip these files up in folders and will execute them in a particular order. So what we have here is a folder structure with some XML files for some users, some skills, roles, etc. So let's take all of these files and zip them up and show you how all this works. Once the files are zipped up, we'll be able to upload these files in one shot and run them all in consecutive order. Now we browse for the files quickly and locate the XML zip that we created. And as you can see, it has uploaded the file. Now we can click run file. Okay, let's view the results here by clicking on refresh results. The tool starts executing the files one at a time until they are all complete. So now we can see that the files are finished and the status indicates 100%. And your file set is now available for download. These can be read or they can be write files. So let's go ahead and download the files so we can see the response from the XML run. We take the folders and the files inside those folders of the zip and execute them all in alphabetical order that allows you to put particular dependencies in front of the other. So for example, if you need to do resources and roles and you want the resource to have a primary role, you need to make sure the roles are in first. So you would put the folder with the roles in alphabetical order prior to the resources. Okay, we're done for now. And thank you for taking the time to take a look at our new product, XB3. And we appreciate any feedback or enhancement requests you may have.